participating in Challenge 2011. I'll be speaking to you briefly about combustion. Chemical reactions involving combustion happen all the time in everyday life. They occur when you light a candle, turn on your gas stove or fireplace, and even when you crank up your car. Let's compare two kinds of combustion reactions, complete and incomplete. No matter what, the reactants are always a hydrocarbon and oxygen. The big difference is this. For complete combustion, there's excess oxygen. When the hydrocarbon burns, there's a clean flame. Incomplete combustion does not have an abundant supply of oxygen, and the hydrocarbon burns with a smoky or sooty flame. This difference determines which products form during the reaction. Now, all combustion reactions are exothermic, which means heat and sometimes light is released. Water vapor and carbon dioxide are additional products of a complete combustion reaction. In incomplete combustion, the limited amount of oxygen prevents the fuel from reacting completely to form carbon dioxide and water. Instead, carbon monoxide and or carbon form. These products are toxic and are considered to be pollutants. Now that we've learned about the reactants and products in a combustion reaction, let's balance an equation for a combustion reaction. Are you ready? Here's the unbalanced equation for the complete combustion of butane, a hydrocarbon salt bottled as fuel for cooking and camping. One molecule of butane has 10 hydrogens, so it will yield five molecules of water with two hydrogens each. Butane also has four carbons, so it can yield four molecules of carbon dioxide. All that's left to do is to balance the number of oxygen atoms. On the right side, we have 13 oxygen atoms, but we need an even number on the right side in order to balance by oxygen gas on the left side. So let's double what we have for our equation so far. there are 26 oxygen atoms on the right side. This means 13 molecules of oxygen gas are reacted. And there it is, a perfectly balanced equation of a complete combustion reaction. Thanks for watching my video. See you later.